Bruce was in the studio recording. Things were looking good. And then here we are, five yeah. years later, 22 minutes past 9 a.m. You're on Kenya's number one hit music station, Kiss FM. And like we promised, Bruce Melody is in the studio. Welcome. Thank you so much. I love that bling. Last time I saw you, you didn't have that bling. Uh, that one. Life is changing. Life is changing. <laughs> In fact, uh -huh. last time uh, we spoke, mm -hmm. you had just recorded this monster hit with uh, Shaggy. Mm -hmm. And you were all over the world doing amazing things with mm -hmm. him. How did that go? It like, was really, really good. Mm -hmm. And I had fun working with Shaggy. He's a great artist. Mm -hmm. Also, he's a guy who can push music. Like, if if he decided to promote Bruce Melody, mm -hmm. like, go with him into a... Uh, that was an amazing journey. Yeah. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you've got a brand new song that's doing amazing. And we'll talk about your photo. Mm -hmm. But um, welcome to Nairobi. Asante. I saw you posting that you're officially day one in Kwajana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I've been I've been in Nairobi back and forth mm -hmm. to the extent now I'm feeling like uh, Kenyan. Mm -hmm. uh, I can even tell like yesterday I met Obina mm -hmm. yeah. and for the first time when Kiss FM hosted me, yeah, the guy was sitting was there sitting, yeah. and he was <laughs> like he, he was kicking me like, mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. and I can tell like things are going well. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice. Yeah. The food as well. Mm -hmm. Which Kenyan food do you like the most? Like when you're in Nairobi, when you're away from Nairobi, you're just like, I cannot wait to taste. Uh, it's like, I don't really remember the name, mm -hmm. Hmm. but I can. What does it look like? It is like mashed potato with coins. Mm -hmm. It looks green. Mm -hmm. Mokimo. 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 Oh, you I love Mokimo. Like yeah, I do okay. love that. A good Mokimo is right. good. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Shout out to you. What do you have it with? Uh, beef stew. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is beef popular in uh, Rwanda? Beef? Yeah. Beef is popular everywhere. No, no, no. What's the most popular? You know, like here, beef mm. is popular, but goat is popular here. Uh, myself, I don't like goat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because... I'm their goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, oh, I, no, just, he I didn't. just knew we want to walk into that. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt it. You don't eat yourself, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> but, so, uh, <laughs> I prefer beef. <laughs> I knew we were getting somewhere. Oh so if you just tuned in, we're with Bruce Melody. You know he's a musician because he's got the melody, but did you know sometimes he can be a clown? <laughs> so we've got more of his tunes. You just had Katerina, but have you had Ki Pepeo? That is with Nadia Bukami. Mm. And you hadn't recorded this one while you were here mm. last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was last time when we were here. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's actually this year. Mm -hmm. Mm. So I met Nadia through Bahati. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a song with Bahati. Yes. So I met Nadia through Bahati, and she came to the place to my apartment here in Nairobi, mm -hmm. and she played like she had a plan to play for me like three songs, and then she played for Mickey Pepe. Mm -hmm. It was the first track she played. Yeah. And I was no, do not play any other song. That's the one. This is the song. I love it. Mm -hmm. Let's hear Kipepeo, Nadia Mokami, and Bruce Melody. And then we'll come back and ask Bruce how he's been, what he's been up to. And is he trying to do a Kenyan takeover with these collabos? We'll talk about that. That is Nadia going deep into her soul for this one. But she definitely wrote Kipepeo. And she's featured Bruce Melody in this one. This is what you call a super duet. And Bruce is with us here in studio. And uh, Bruce, I just want to ask, um, do you feel that uh, Rwanda is taking over event space in, um, in, in East Africa, especially with what's happening at BK Arena? Because we're just having a conversation off air. And I mentioned about African Grammys, mm -hmm. uh, and there was there has been talk of bringing the Grammys to Africa, and I'll, I'll say yes, yeah? definitely yes, because we hosted uh, the Trace Awards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, what, what was the event for Kendrick Lamar? Yeah, uh, global, global citizen. citizen. Uh, global citizen. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of things are going on because of the big arena and the other venues. Bruce, you know, in Kenya, there's no venue that can take five thousand people. 5,000? Even, yeah. in fact, I, I even want to push it and say 2,000 uh, in Kenya. Yeah, so that's I why when we see I, BK I, Arena, I, I, it's I, very I, exciting. I hope the best I ate is to ahead. come. Yeah, be yeah. Best is the, yet the, to come. Things, are, things will happen because we used to be like that. Mm -hmm. And with with uh, 
good leadership, everything is possible. Yeah. Let's talk about your Rwanda takeover of Kenya. Mm. I mean, when it comes to collabs, you spoke Bahati, Nadia, mm. and you got this one with BN, mm. which is super exciting. I remember what BN was sitting here mm. uh, a few few months or a few weeks ago. Yeah. And he mentioned that he's got this collab with Bruce Melody. The next thing he left here and, and he flew to Kigali to come shoot with mm. you. But he he just said the song was hot. He didn't mention just how hot it is. Mm. Right? So how did this happen? Uh, actually, BN... He's a good friend of mine. I'm a big fan of his mm-hmm. since like forever. Yeah. And funny enough, when when I met him, he was like, "Bro, you're the best. Like, I love your music. You know, your vocal techniques and all that." Mm-hmm. That we became friends. So we had to record a lot and a lot of songs. Uh, some of the songs are on my album. Some of the songs are his. Mm-hmm. You know, he connected me with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to this project, he came to Kigali for an event. I don't really remember the event, but he came to Kigali. I just went to see him. You know, for me, I always go with my producers. Mm-hmm. You never know. Yeah. Anything can happen. So I played him some songs, but when I played Ear Photo, he was like, no, 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 bro, let me jump on this one. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, go ahead. I only had the chorus of the song. I don't want no drama, mm-hmm. just vibe. My God, I'm high. But Quario Photo. Hey. Mm. Ah. Quario Photo. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> what, 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 what did you give Bruce for <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You should come always like this. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, by the time I had the chorus, yeah. and then he... Just recorded his voice. I was like, ah, this is good. Mm-hmm. In fact, I had a song for like a whole year. I couldn't put something like, I had the chorus yeah. for almost a year. Mm-hmm. And when he came in, he just put the verse. I was like, yeah, now we have this song. So I started write my verse mm-hmm. and all that. And then we recorded the song. I kept the song. And by the time I was thinking of my album and the songs which I can put on the album. Mm. I played your photo with my team. Mm-hmm. They were like, bro, this is a song. You've got a monster yeah. hit. Uh, uh, for me, like when I was doing the list of the songs which has to be on my album, mm-hmm. I didn't play your photo mm-hmm. for no reason. Like I don't like I don't even remember what happened, but I didn't consider your photo. Is it because you'd had the song for a while? You know, there are artists who say, I've had the song, you know, you guys are hearing it now, but me, mm. I've listened to it, I've listened to it until I don't really hear what you guys are hearing. No, that's not the case. Mm-hmm. I almost forgot about the song. What? What? You had you, you had know Kenya's you know hopes <laughs> in your... I, I will explain in this. In your folder. I, 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 I will explain this. Mm-hmm. When you have a lot of songs, yeah. sometimes you forget good songs. Mm. You focus on the other songs. Mm. Like I had like almost 200 songs. Oh, wow. And I had to choose 18 songs on the album. Mm. All of a sudden, I forgot about Ear Photo. When they played Ear Photo, I was like, yeah, yeah, this is a song. And I have to drop this even before the album. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. So how, so long, how long in between like you recording the song and actually having to choose uh, the songs for the album? How long? Was it like uh, three months? And I'm talking about after. Yeah, yeah. We recorded the, the song in 2022. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about after BN dropping his verse. Yeah. I kept the song as well. Because he just chose the song. Like, randomly, he was like, I want your photo. Mm-hmm. And then he left. Just mm. the way you chose on Nadia's, mm-hmm. when you had... Yes. When like you had he did it, the same. you knew yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. this was yeah. the song. He did the same. But I... Because for me and Ben, we have a lot and a lot of music recorded. Mm-hmm. And, like, you guys, like, our fans, like, Ben fans, Bruce Melody fans... <laughs> I also have another song. Oh, wow. Now I remember. <laughs> now, now, oh, wow. <laughs> now I remember. Mm-hmm. I have another song. Me, Ben Sol, and Bien. I, we already know it's a hit. It is. Yo. We it know. Is. I know Kenyans are going to vibe this song. I'm yeah. telling you this today. Hey. Mm. Kenyans, you are going to vibe this song. And it's on the album. So, what so we're going to wait two years for it. When are you releasing the album? 
uh, December. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I want you to, we're going to give you a break, uh, mm. about two minutes and 47 as we listen to your photo mm. and give you a chance to remember which other songs you might have forgotten because you know the album is coming out in December. Okay, okay. I'm not going to mention any other You might be song. seated with Chris Brown's record there and we don't know. Your photo, Bruce Melody and BN. Bruce, album is dropping in December. Collabo is hot. Um, you've come from a very exciting spell of music, intense international collaborations. What should the fans expect in December? Uh, they should expect good music. Uh, I've been working on this album for a long, long, long time. Mm-hmm. I've been like uh, now four years. So I've deleted a hundred and hundreds of songs yeah. just to gate. I hope you didn't delete that collabo. With who? I don't know with who, but <laughs> you, <laughs> you were about to delete it. This one would be... <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, I cannot delete. I cannot delete uh-huh. a good song. Yeah. But, like, I had to go through my good, good, good uh, mood mm-hmm. to get good music. So, expect good music. You can dance. Mm-hmm. You can cry. Mm-hmm. You can sleep. You can, you know, it's a full, full of a different emotions <laughs> i love it mm-hmm. ah. the, the, the 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 manager here is saying yeah. it has everything everything yeah. everything yeah. Yeah. if right. you watch this video later on songa play you'll be able to see I the producer i don't want this manager <laughs> in this studio <laughs> He, he will even mention something that I don't want to mention. He'll, he'll mention that collabo. Yes, you gotta mention it. You always you mentioned how you walk around with your producers like mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that something that uh, you've picked up from way back? Am I? It's 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 something that you you're doing recently because man, the collabos that you have, and you said that you've got songs that you just go on and play for artists to 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 get to see which ones they would fall on. Mm-hmm. So what what makes you want to walk around with your producers all the time and are they here you know music music like you have you have to be ready Hmm. by any time you can feel like you want to record something so if you don't have a good producer or if you're not a producer sometimes a good song can come to your mind and disappear the same day or the same moment so Mm -hmm. you have to captivate Hmm. the you know so I, 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 I travel, I always stay with my producers because not only me, because they, they can also bring the ideas. Mm-hmm. So if he feels like, bro, I have a beat. For mm-hmm. me, I'm always attentive. Like I have to listen to that mm-hmm. because that's what I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Thank you so much for making the time to be here this morning. Mm-hmm. And um, we are looking for, how long are you in Nairobi for? I'll, I'll go back on Thursday because we have a <coughs> excuse me we have a, a country tour mm-hmm. which is going gone. It's called Iwatch Muska Festival, mm-hmm. and uh, I have to be at some place on Sunday, mm-hmm. so I'll leave Kenya on, on Thursday. Oh man! But as you go, man, we want to play one last song from you. This one dropped earlier this year, mm-hmm. Soe. And uh, the reason I'm playing this one is because. You are not doing a collab on this one. We just get to hear Bruce and only Bruce. Bruce, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for And continue with the melodies. I cannot wait to hear that album in December. Kappa! (laughs) He is so away from Bruce Melody. (laughs)